Today I'll explain every single drug and rank them in terms of how dangerous they are. In order to emphasize the danger of each drug, I'm going to use skulls. One skull is minimal damage. Whereas five skulls is just deadly. Stimulants are a class of drugs that increase the activity of the brain. They're used for various purposes, such as enhancing alertness, attention, motivation, mood, and physical performance. The following drugs fit in this category. Nicotine is a stimulant found in all tobacco products and some e-cigarette liquids, and it's one of the most consumed psychoactive substance known to humanity. Over 11% of Americans are smokers. As nicotine enters the body, it causes a surge of endorphins that help to relieve stress and pain and improve mood and even cognitive function. But you may ask, what's so bad about nicotine if it's so beneficial for the brain? Well, the lungs are an extremely sensitive organ and introducing anything which is not oxygen cannot be healthy or beneficial. Not to mention how addictive smoking is. I can actually speak from experience in this case. Most smokers feel like they are not themselves without the nicotine. Therefore, it's highly unlikely to quit this habit. It takes a few years or even decades to see the bad effects associated with smoking such as lung cancer, high blood pressure, or stroke. And by the time you notice them, the addiction is already too strong and therefore the chances to quit are slim. This drug definitely deserves three skulls. It may not be harmful when you start it, but the psychological addiction usually becomes too strong for you to control it. Of course, the bad effects can be minimized by either vaping or using heated tobacco products, but the addiction remains. Cocaine is a powerfully addictive stimulant drug made from the leaves of the coca plant native to South America. Cocaine is a Schedule II drug and has a high potential for abuse due to its highly addictive nature, which increases attention, energy, and alertness. When you're on cocaine, you feel like you're untouchable, but when the positive effects end, you will experience a come down, and you will feel anxiety, irritability, exhaustion, sweating, headaches, and confusion, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you take it regularly, you will build a tolerance and therefore you will need a higher dosage to feel the same effects. This is the reason why it's so easy to overdose on cocaine, not to mention how intense are the withdrawal symptoms. Four skulls for cocaine. As Dr. Huberman said, repeated cocaine use damages dopamine receptors in the brain, reducing your ability to feel pleasure in general and leading to a cycle of addiction. Caffeine is by far the most consumed drug. Caffeine can be found in coffee, obviously, tea, soda, chocolate, energy drinks, or even in pure form. Caffeine use is socially acceptable, and because people who consume it in large amounts aren't thought of as acting like addicts, society doesn't put its overuse in the same category as that of other drugs. Like any other stimulant, it causes increased breathing and heart rate, increased mental alertness and physical energy. This is the least dangerous drug so far, so I'll give it one skull, which is minimal damage, it can only be harmful only if you have hypertension or any other heart problems. Most users claim that when they're on meth, they feel like they are the kings. Crystal meth is a colorless, odorless drug, a powerful and highly addictive synthetic. Crystal meth typically resembles small fragments of glass. It's typically smoked using glass pipes, similar to the pipes used to smoke crack cocaine. The side effects are pretty serious. Meth is neurotoxic. It damages the glial cells in the brain. Regular use can also cause increased blood pressure and damage to the small blood vessels in the brain, which can lead to stroke. The drug can produce psychotic symptoms that persist for months or years, even after an individual has stopped using the drug. This is actually the first drug that deserves five skulls. It's just like cocaine, but worse. More toxic, not to mention it causes dental loss, also known as meth mouth. Depressants are a class of drugs that work by slowing down the central nervous system. The drugs in this category cause euphoria, nausea, mood swings, unconsciousness, and coma. The following drugs fit in this category. Alcoholic beverages contain ethanol, which is a psychoactive and toxic substance with dependence-producing properties. Firstly, no amount of alcohol is beneficial on the long run. 
The risk of developing cancer increases substantially if it's consumed in large quantities. However, latest available data indicates that half of all alcohol attributable cancers are caused by lights and moderate alcohol consumption. Less than 1.5 liters of wine or less than 3.5 liters of beer per week. Alcohol is actually more dangerous than some drugs. In fact, alcohol addiction is more and more prevalent than illegal drug addiction. Some statistics even consider alcohol the most dangerous drug out there due to the harm it causes to others, such as injuries, family adversities, and more. But in this video, I am ranking drugs in terms of how dangerous they are for the user not for others. Therefore, I'll give alcohol three skulls. Just like nicotine, actually one thing that alcohol and nicotine have in common is that the health problems associated with the use of both appear after a long time of regularly using the drugs. Also known as liquid ecstasy, GHB is a party drug. It usually comes as a colorless, bitter, or salty liquid. GHB is basically of alcohol on steroids. The following effects may begin within 15 to 20 minutes of taking GHB. Vomiting, confusion, memory loss, and unconsciousness that can last for a few hours. This drug gained notoriety as a date drug. Four skulls for GHB, because it's a strong depressant that can easily lead to overdose. Opioids are a class of drugs that are primarily used for pain relief. The drugs in this category cause sweating, impaired concentration, reduced sex drive, relaxation, and sleepiness. The following drugs fit in this category. Heroin is a highly addictive and rapidly acting opiate. In general, the opioid drugs are more addictive due to the pain relieving properties. Many new, younger users begin by snorting or smoking heroin because they wish to avoid the social stigma attached to injection drug use. Both new and experienced users risk overdosing on heroin because it is impossible for them to know the purity of the heroin they are using. Once you're addicted to heroin, nothing else matters. When an addict stops using, he experiences physical withdrawal, which can begin within just a few hours since the last use. Symptoms include restlessness, insomnia, vomiting, cold flashes with goosebumps, muscle, and bone pain. This shouldn't be surprising, but it would be wrong to give heroin fewer than five skulls, not to mention how many lives this drug has ruined. Another drug similar to heroin, crocodile, is made by mixing codeine with substances like gasoline, paint thinner, or alcohol. This drug is named crocodile because mixture is then injected into a vein, potentially, causing an addict's skin to become greenish, scaly, and eventually rot away, similar to the reptile skin. The effects of taking this drug are pretty disturbing. Limb amputations, liver and kidney damage, speech and motor skills, impairment and blood poisoning. Definitely five skulls, similar to heroin, but worse due to the physical damage it causes. In fact, the amount of tissue damage is so high that addicts' life expectancies are said to be as low as two to three years. Lean, also known by the popular street name Purple Drink, or liquid heroin, is an illicit substance made with codeine, containing cough syrup, soda, and hard candy. While lean is a drug used by people of all ages, it's most used by teens and young adults at parties or in social settings. Because the main component of lean, codeine, is an opioid, it can cause many of the dangerous effects associated with the drugs like heroin. Of the many dangerous effects of lean, one of the more potentially dangerous is its ability to slow a person's heart rate and breathing. Three skulls for lean. It's still dangerous, but not as potent as other opioids. Fentanyl is a potent synthetic opioid drug. It is approximately 50 times more potent than heroin. Fentanyl can be injected, snorted, smoked, or taken orally by pill. 42% of pills tested for fentanyl contained at least two milligrams of fentanyl, considered a potentially lethal dose. Synthetic opioids like fentanyl contribute to nearly 70% of overdose deaths. Strong five skulls for fentanyl. This is self-explanatory. Gray death, as its name would imply, has a gray or ashen color and appears like concrete mixing powder or in rocks. 
This is not considered a chemical compound, but it's a cocktail of the most potent opioids. Gray Death contains fentanyl mixed with heroin and carfentanil, which is 100 times more potent than fentanyl. Also, carfentanil, it's used as a tranquilizing agent for elephants. This drug is so dangerous that you shouldn't even touch it. The only drug out of all drugs that deserves the Six Skulls rank. In the following video regarding drugs, I can assure you that no drug will come close to this. Therefore, I'll rank it the number one most dangerous drug. In the following video, I'll explain cannabinoids, psychedelics, empathogens, and dissociatives.